Like I said, guys, just a quick two minute break there. Let's get back at her. See what we're missing. This container holds bricks of what might have been pre-processed food a long time ago. This lens about the size of one's thumbnail magnifies like a fine optical glass. Alrighty. I own Done. all of them on DVD and maybe I love watching it. I'm not a guy who's going to debate. <laughs> At Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Yes. Fighting the mysterious beast. So we picked up some magnifying glass. These lenses about the size of one's thumbnail magnify like fine... Good old the next generation. Is there anything behind here? These lenses about Okay. Let's go up here, see if we missed anything else up here. Can't do anything with these yet. I want to do something. Hey! There's another room up there. See these spheres look like the one in my inventory. Wait, what? You can't seem to make this work. I was just random. I was just clicking one thing that looked like another. This platform contains the control console for the ship's computer library. Data may be accessed by using this console. Yeah, I see with Battlestar Galactic, like any of the space stuff, I love it. I love watching it. My memory is very piss poor for it. But I love watching it. I own all the Battlestar Galacticas. I own all the Star Treks. So that's the next generation... Uh, D Space Nine, Voyager. I own Caprica. What else have I got over there? Of course, Firefly. I've got everything. You look, but see nothing. I actually don't have this series, the original. The... the data view screen is operational. The information selectors are controlled from the console platform. Yeah, actually, Farscape I didn't enjoy so much. Um, Andromeda I really liked. Kevin Sarbos, I know a lot of people hated it, but I actually Currently really liked an it. information data screen, something like the display readers on the Enterprise. Yeah, I don't have TOS. That's the only one I do not own. These two things fit together like they were made for each other. Cool. I just thought I'd try that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Oof. Yeah, I'll have to uh, to download them again. You look but see nothing. See if I had actually enjoyed buying it. They were they, they're not easy to find. Really, yeah, they, Kevin Sorbo does, but I like uh, Alexa Doig or whatever her name is. Thank you, Spencer. Um, same with that. I like the whole premise behind the show. I actually like the Andromeda ship design. I like the uh, slip fighters for their design. Apparently, and uh, that doesn't help. This seems to activate the ship's computer bank control node. Given the aliens' predilection for multiples of three, it may be possible to use our tricorders to decipher the information carried in these data banks. That would be quite a find, Jim. This is an alien race unknown to us. And they are certain to have knowledge new to us. Were the Universal Translator available, this would be simple. With the I thought out so. Of range, that's not an option, Mr. Spock. I what honestly else thought the do? story for Andromeda was really McCoy well done until the later season when Kevin Sorbo bought it. We may be able to process enough sample data to then get it started a basic kind of going here the and it seemed to be the same storyline over and over again. This will completely tie up both our tricorders for an extended amount of time, however. But I thought the first, like, five seasons were a solid fives. 
The Dominion War wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> That's Deep Space Nine. Right. Nothing to report. I mean... I didn't like Benjamin Sisko going back in time and doing his... Who, Kevin Sorbo? He buys the show. So what happens is Gene Roddenberry gives it up or whatever. And then Kevin Sorbo ends up becoming the main producer and, uh, uh, and buys the show. What does this thing do now? Mud's miracle degrimer with lenses attached. Well, that's helpful. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, now, I think we know why the Alassi pirates were so interested in finding out where Mud was getting these. They make guns? Oh, no, no, no. He actually bought the actual series of the TV show. So, can I do this? No, wait. Okay, we're going to keep firing the guns. So that's all that that does. So, what is this thing up here? Is this another door? Oh, shit, it is too. This appears to be some sort of. Okay, this is the room that goes to the medical place, right? How did I not see this the first time? It's a big white object on black. A few of the characters do change, like, um, through it. It's, it's, it's a good show to sit down and watch through once. So what did I just pick up? A multi-purpose repair tool. What did I see that had to be repaired? See anything that had to be repaired? Maybe used on this thing? No. Oh wait, the computer system down here, right? Had to be repaired? The view screen or something? So what the hell is this thing? Shiny dodecagons as long as one's hand. Highly reflective. Shimmering with the prismatic rainbow look of oil on water. Yeah. Look at them. Same with these guys. If you look at Kirk, he's actually got like the the Batman chest, the whole stomach and everything. It's Batman. It's Batman. Da -na 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 -na. Same with the back. The back again is modeled right after the bat, like the new bat suits. All right, like, yeah. Let's see if we can get a closer look at him here. And yeah, look at that. Everything chiseled, man. Nothing happens. Nothing use happens. Repair screen. We use it. <laughs> That's one impressive back. So it says we can tie up both our tricorders to get this thing running. So why don't we do it? This platform contains the control. Right. You said we can use both. This seems to activate the ship's computer. That would be quite a find, Jim. Were the Universal Translator available, this would be simple. With the Enterprise out of range, that's not an option, Mr. Spock. What else can you do? I believe if Dr. McCoy and I conjoin our two tricorders, we may be able to oh, process okay. enough... Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can do that. Nothing to report. Okay, so how do we do that, then? Both our tricorders are now working on basic processing of the alien's computer data system. The tricorders are not the equal of the universal <coughs> translator, but we should be able to retrieve basic information and get an insight into their culture and life systems. I don't believe we could have gotten even this far had we not deduced their fixation on basic mathematics and aesthetics. Okay. The tricorders are again available for general use. The alien ship's computer data is now accessible from the ship's library. I believe I have downloaded enough information to our tricorders to enable operation of most of the ship's controls, Captain. Okay, so what does that allow us to do? This might be a data screen. 
This might be, there a, data might be a data screen. I'd love to know who the voice is, the female voice in this. Like, she just like in their minds. Is this some random person who's speaking? So if I do this again, does it do anything? This platform contains the control. No. Okay, so we've been here, we've been here. Let's go back out here. I'm pretty sure I can go use that bed now, but I'm more curious about their weapon systems. Can Spock understand this now? Oh, he's going to it this time. Oh, he's doing something. Okay, he wouldn't do that before. The device has finished loading, Captain. Oh man, do I do it? Let's just be on the safe side here. Save new game. Let's see if we're gonna fire a torpedo here. Yeah, out, well, that's that's good to know. I'm just curious as to why they put her voice in here instead of using it. Well, I could actually never mind. That's kind of a dumb question. It's probably because she was cheaper to voice act. But in reality, like she's just some random voice. It's not even the voice of a computer system or anything. It's just a random voice talk telling me what's going on. Okay, so that unloads it. Okay, so the blue control loads it. The device has been un Okay. So let's load it. Because it probably cost them a fortune to get the original cast in to actually voice over all this stuff. But I just love the fact that they have this the random has over voice talking to you, right? I love that. It's funny. I believe, Captain, that this weapon must be hooked up through the main weapons battery. However, I've already examined the weapons console, and the main weapons battery on this ship was completely destroyed yeah. in the action, which made her a derelict. Mr. Scott would have to go over this thoroughly, but I would recommend we try to take this weapon with us to the Enterprise. I don't think we should tinker with technology we don't understand, Spock, and I'm surprised you'd suggest such. I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Well, that's not good. So now that I'm almost certain I can use this with bones. Because we understand how it works now. I certainly see nothing there calling. What do you mean? The volatile chemicals have evaporated over the time the derelict hung in space. I need to refill the capsule dispenser for the bed to activate and effect a cure on our friend Harry here. I certainly see nothing. It would be interesting to analyze. Do they pose any threat? None seems like. Okay, wait. The volatile chemicals have evaporated over the time the derelict hung in space. I need to refill the capsule dispenser for the bed to activate and effect a cure on our friend Harry here. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> we'll just randomly fire the gun. A multi purpose repair Nothing tool. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, stop that. Medical tricorder. There's nothing there required. There's nothing there. Re it would be interesting to. Do they pose? None seems. Lo okay, so we can't use this yet. I certainly see nothing. The volatile chemicals have evaporated over I need the time. To refill the, the capsule dispenser. For I the need to refill to the activate. capsule dispenser for the bed to activate and effect a cure on our friend Harry here. Do we need to refill the capsules? I certainly see nothing. How do we do that? Can we use this system now? Oh wait. Thanks to the library computer data, limited though it is, these primary controls give me access to communications. View screen. Done. Communication. View screen. 
I guess the universe looks about like it did the last communications. <laughs> Scotty, report. The Arashi pirates have been driven off, Captain. We have damage and injuries among the crew. We just arrived back here a few minutes ago, and we've been trying to raise you on the communicators. The local star seems to be acting up. Will there be a problem with the transporter? I want you to beam up the landing party, and I also want you to lock onto and beam aboard an alien mechanism we came Wait, across. Wait, we're not going to hear the Captain, guy? No problem. At least right now, but the situation is only going to get worse. Are you ready to beam over now? No, we want to look around some more. We'll call you on this channel when we're ready. Yes, bring us... No, I need to have a word with Harry Mudd before we go. No, we want to look around some more. Okay, so how do we refill that capsule dispenser and cure him? There's <coughs> gotta be something. Nothing happens. <laughs> oh wait, was it just that simple? I was just a derpster? Yeah, I just derped. The volatile chemical... The volatile chemicals of a... Va I certainly see nothing. I failed to see the. There is nothing at the moment for me to. What's he going over there and doing then? Oh, we got something. Nothing happens. Let me refill it in the bed here. The capsules slide into the machinery on the bed exactly as they're designed to. I'm telling the program, our physiology is not the same as the alien's physiology. Don't want it to try to cure us of being human. That would be too much to hope for, would it not, Doctor? <laughs> Particularly when we're talking about Harry Mudd. There we go. Now, can we cure him? Wake him up. Okay, Harry, you should start to feel better in a few minutes. Just lie there quietly until you feel like moving. Oh, give me something for this headache, Doc. A herd of the muddy tree elephants landed behind my eyeballs. And tree elephants? Dance. Why would you want to do that? Let's not go misusing a medical <laughs> kit, Jim. Because I can. Okay. Well, we can't talk to them. If we use them again? No. You fail to obtain. Oh, hey, pick his pockets. Come on. Steal everything he's got. Here, let's show him this. No. Our court Fenton mud. Three of the most. Okay, so do we use the medical tricorder on him then? There's nothing there, Rick. There's nothing there, Rick. <laughs> I can understand that. My name's Paul, so I hear quite often kicking around. Nothing to report. Okay, well, I don't know, I, I assume I've cured him, but there isn't anything else I can do for him. Nothing happens. I certainly see nothing. Well, let's talk Are about you this. religious, Jim? I can't. You look troubled. Sorry if I was bothering you. I was just silently cursing the day I met Harry Mudd. Captain, count your blessings. We haven't met any salt vampires or deranged computers, blood draining clouds, cell imploding sirens, Greek gods, or, or any of the other things that people keep telling me about in security. There's not much I wouldn't do to not have to deal with mud. 
Okay, so are we done here? Okay, I can't even interact with him anymore. Can I interact with the bed? Okay, I guess not. You get no response. Arcord Fenton Mud. I know this I don't I don't want to leave and not finish this. It's the only problem. Nothing happens. It looks like that might be it though. Like let's leave the room and come back and try talking to him again. See if he's still laying in the bed. No, he's actually gone. So can we find him in any of the other rooms or is this it? Front him on, on this, or is this gonna be the same conversation? Cause the same guy, he's still kicking around. Kirk, my friend, when have I ever given you? There was the time. Perhaps the don't push your luck. Okay, Harry. so it is the same answers again. Is he hiding in this room now? I'll go to this room and then back to the main computer core. If I don't see him, well, oh, there he my is. My captain, I see you got this machine to work. I tried to get it up and running for the longest time. Help yourself, Harry. Knowledge is for everyone. Get away from that this instant, Harry, or I'll shoot you where you stand. Help yourself, Harry. Get away from that this instant, Harry, or I'll shoot you where you stand. Help yourself, Harry. Knowledge is for everyone. I don't know whether to give it to him or not. Get away from that this instant, Harry, or I'll shoot you where you stand. Help yourself, Harry. Knowledge is for everyone. I don't think there's anything dangerous on there, was there? Get away from that this instant, Harry, or I'll shoot you. Whatever you... Mud, do you know what you just did? That knowledge was priceless. Well, how badly did I just screw that up? Well, let's go find out. Let's, let's go back down there, see if he's there still. No. <laughs> I think I just screwed the pooch on that one, guys. Let's leave Mud Thanks to his to the own. library computer. Communications. Leave mud to his New own. New developments, Mr. Scott? The Neutron Star is causing more and more problems, Captain. Later, Mr. Scott. Very well, bring us home. No, I need to have a word. Later, Mr. Scott. Very well, bring us No, I need to have a word with Harry Mudd. Later, Mr. Scott. What? That's it? Oh, we can't even bring the device Thanks home to now? the library. Communications. Oh, that's gonna suck. New developments, Mr. Scott? The Neutron Star. Later, Mr. Scott. The Orc Elkham? I don't want to go back to Indiana Jones. Very well, bring us home. No, I need to have a very well, bring us home. I remember that game very well. Those two words, Plato and Orc Elkham. Read your report on the problems at 77%. And evaluate your performance at 77%. You and your crew received two commendation points. I want to play the whole well ghost done, scene Captain. all over again, though. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. I wired in that alien contraption to the torpedo system. It should boost the ship's firepower, Captain. <coughs> I only wish you could wire Harry Mudd to a photon torpedo. While you were away, Captain, I made some travel arrangements that I thought you would approve of. Oh, really? Travel arrangements? I think you'll be happy to know that I've arranged for Stella Mudd to meet her long-lost husband on Starbase 7, sir. Approved, Lieutenant. Take us out of here, Mr. Sulu. Where are we going next, guys? Feathered Serpent. Feathered Serpent? That doesn't sound very promising. Quickly. Captain's Log, Stardate 5097.3. Starfleet reports major <laughs> military activity in the Klingon sector near Fakur, a planet on the edge of Klingon space. Intelligence indicates that the Klingons are mobilizing a large fleet to search for a renegade who was responsible for a disruption of unknown nature on that planet. Federation sensors have found a faint energy trail leading to the planet Zam 4. What was his name? Real system. name? We have been ordered Mirat by Starfleet Sol to track down the source of the energy and discover what happened on Fracour before the Klingon fleet enters Federation space. If we are not successful, 
the Federation and the Klingon Empire may find themselves at war once again. Now, are the Klingons the old TOS Klingons, or are they the next generation Klingons? We'll find out. Save new game. Captain's Law. Oh shit, now I gotta remember where to go here. It was hardcore, wasn't it? Which is all the way up over here. Man, so I wasn't paying attention. We're off course. Oh, Captain no. Instruments indicate that we have crawling on ship is arming its weapon. Damage control set. Message from the Klingon. On screen. Enterprise. You oh, are in violation. The old of TOS Klingon ones. Space. We're gonna die here, guys. Arming weapons. Vision shields. Hi, sir. Oh, there's one from DC's class. Let's get him. Oh, hi, sir. Shit, I can't remember where I was supposed to go, guys. Falling. A weapon top. A weapon top. Quickly, reload. Shit. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. Oh, well, guys, I honestly actually have to actually look quickly at the locks here where I was going. Did you fall? Sorry. I actually have. The locations of where I'm supposed to go because this is not the first Reason time this has happened to me in this game. Arming weapons. Because there's no logs. If you don't pay attention and you're talking with chat when this happens, Captain's it doesn't tell you here where to go. Look at this one. Hijack zero points. Okay, so weapon system. Lowering shields, Captain. Raising shields. Disarming weapons. Arming weapon. Um, and the so digifall is seven, which is here, I think. Captain, a Klingon battle cruiser has entered the system. Open hailing frequencies. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Klingon battle cruiser, you are in Federation space. You must leave immediately. I am Commander Taras of the Nisra. We are in pursuit of a genocidal criminal. We are performing an act of mercy in removing him from your space. Naturally, you will remove your vessel from this system. For your own safety, of course. I think we can take care of ourselves, Taraz, which is more than I can say for you, if the Nisra does not leave Federation space at once. You are in direct violation of the Organian Treaty, Mister. If you have a problem, have your fleet commander take it up with them. If a Federation criminal were to pass into Klingon space, you'd be saying the same thing to me. Who do you think you're trying to fool, Taraz? Get your ship out. I think we can take it. You are in direct this violation the of the Organian Treaty, Mister. If you have a problem... If we are not allowed to capture this criminal, Captain, you may do this for us. We insist that we remain here to monitor the situation, but we will take no action. Provided that you can bring him to us in 12 hours. Agreed. Vessels of war are not allowed in Federation space. You will pull back to the Arganian neutral zone and do so immediately. Agreed. So now what, guys? Um, no, we don't need to send a distress signal. Nothing to report, Captain. You won't have anything for us. To orbit the planet. Better in standard orbit. Lauren Shields, Captain. Assemble a landing party. Unless we find the so-called criminal, we're going to war. That's what I assumed. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to go down or not. When we land here, guys, talk to this guy. We'll of course, take our break. This is interesting. 
Greetings, my children. I can barely imagine that you have come so far. I am Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. Did you know the Klingons are looking for you? I'm Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. We're not your children, and we don't appreciate this wild goose chase you forced. I am Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. Did you know the Kling? The Klingons? Amazing. This is the first time one of my missions has produced results so swiftly. Listen, mister. Any missions conducted within Klingon space fully jeopardize the... Damn right the results were swift. The Klingons have been raiding colonies looking for you. Listen, mister. Any Damn right the results were swift. The Klingons have been raiding colonies looking for you. No, you must be lying. They could not be raiding if they are looking for me. Violence was not the message of any of my missions. I, Quetzalcoatl, preach universal brotherhood and peace. Quetzalcoatl? How fitting you would name yourself after one of the most bloody-handed <laughs> gods in Earth's history. Bloody-handed? My people love peace. Yeah, cool. Your followers regularly sacrificed other believers to you after you left, offering you their still-beating hearts. Ha! You mean your followers love pieces? They slaughtered other... Your followers regularly... Impossible. You must, must be lying! lying. And then your followers were destroyed, because when white men arrived on that continent, they were believed to be you in your promised return. Your people perverted your teachings, then were destroyed by it. Foul, lying creatures! My gift was wasted upon you! Be, be gone. gone! Quickly! Why oh, doesn't want me to do anything? Puts us in a cave. The inheritors of the noble Aztec world. What you have said has greatly disturbed me. You should not hey. lie, so you this one goes back as far as uh, until you have or goes forward as far as Voyager. There's an episode about this, I believe. All right, save her up. Save me, Dick. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna hop on break real quick. Be about uh, three or four minutes, so might be just a little longer. Um, and I'll be right back. On break.